around the whole pyramid area. Then there's the the basalt tiles that show up at various pyramid sites. It wouldn't surprise me if we found out in some way that it did have a function. So it seems like there's design that has multiple things outside the pyramid that are always around it that also suggests some kind of function. Mm. And, you know, people have looked at the possibility yeah, of like chemical chemistry, processing. metallurgy. That's like a, a power plant idea that is mm. it's like really fascinating. And it, it also points to, you know, a com- an almost completely different like line of thought in terms of generating power than we have in our modern times. You know, we have like, we basically like, let's heat something up. Let's heat up water, turn it into steam, make the steam spin something, and then we can run magnets on the spinning thing and get electricity. Right. This is a completely different mindset, right. which is really interesting. This would have been free energy, right? Because he, he he says there was a dome that was constructed around the pyramid. Well, you'd have to build You need a billion first. dollars, so it's not free. <laughs> 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 right, right, right. What I mean by it is that the pyramids, his theory is that the pyramids would have put out this, in, the, whatever energy they created in, in his th- hypothesis would have created this free energy that you could just get out of the air. But also that the source might possibly become the sun. It could be, yes, because the sun is dumping an enormous amount of energy into the atmosphere all the time. So it could become a sort of free energy-ish thing. Mm. 